My name is Matthew Akiyama, and I'm an Associate Professor of Medicine at Albert Einstein College of Medicine and an attending physician at Montefiore Medical Center in Internal Medicine and Infectious Diseases. Some of the largest outbreaks of COVID-19 have occurred in prisons and jails in the U.S. to date, and they continue to occur, as we've seen with the most recent Omicron surge. Not only are people at risk of COVID while incarcerated, but upon the transition to the community, by virtue of often living in halfway houses or congregate settings like homeless shelters, there's increased risk upon return to the community as well. We received a five-year, $3.4 million grant from the NIH to look at on-site COVID testing in a community-based organization working with formerly incarcerated people to see if it improved the uptake of testing among people who have recently been released from incarceration compared to a referral off-site for testing. So we'll have 250 participants, half will be in the on-site intervention group and half will be in a referral off-site group. The off-site group, which is currently the standard of care, it will receive referral to off-site testing in order to check their COVID status. So the on-site testing group will receive point of care PCR testing and the result takes about 30 minutes to come back. In the 30 minutes that they're waiting for their test results, they'll receive an educational intervention as well as PPE. They will be taught about the virus in terms of how it's spread, in terms of the way it can be caught, and the importance of factors like social distancing, maintaining adequate distance from others when there's a possible risk of COVID, as well as masking, wearing a mask over the nose and over the mouth, and the different types of masks there are, and as we're seeing with changing guidance, with new variants like Omicron, they'll be provided with state-of-the-art training and education on the types of masks that they can use that'll be most effective. The community-based organization we're working with has a partnership, several partnerships with uh, shelters and accommodations in the city where people will be able to be provided with single room supportive housing if it's available. And we hope that this will be a strategy that will help to mitigate the pandemic even further. We're hiring formerly incarcerated justice involved individuals to be community health workers for the study because there are generations of mistrust that have been developed among justice involved people as a result of their experiences with incarceration and also stigma associated with accessing the healthcare system. And studies are beginning to show that people with lived experience of incarceration providing peer support for justice involved individuals leads to better outcomes in terms of the, the messages being credible and the uh, clients acting on the advice that they're given by the justice involved individual. I think to see the impact of culturally sensitive and culturally appropriate care given to marginalized populations that we are able to work with in the Bronx is one of the most rewarding things that I've been able to do in my life. And so to be able to then design research studies that can potentially generate evidence to change policy to improve that care even further is one of the most gratifying things that uh, I've been able to do.